So, hi everyone, this is a showcase for the content timeline module. Before you can install the module, first you need to enable the views module and the jQuery update module. And if you want your images to have a nice pop-up, you can use shadow box, but it's not required. First, let's go to jQuery update configure and make sure the default jQuery is set to 1.7 or 1.8 for the content timeline to work properly. Click save. Now we can install the module. Go to your download file and extract the content timeline. Leave it as a zip file. Now go back to your website, go to modules, install new module, and now we browse to the content timeline zip file. Click open and install. When you install the module by default, it is going to be in the sites all modules folder. You can do it by hand or you can use Drupal installation. Now you can find the content timeline in the views tab. Check enable and save. Now when you enable the module you get a few things. First in structure and content type you can see a new content type named Timeline, which is going to be used in the views later on. Now in the image styles, you can see two new image styles. The Timeline item and Timeline item open. And one more thing in structure and views, you can see a new view named Timeline with the default path set to timeline. Now, before you, we can see anything, we need to add content. So, let's go back, go to add content, and let's add our content. We'll choose the content type timeline, and fill out the fields. We have the title field, that is used on the timeline when you hover over the date, the item title, the item text. Now we can choose the image file. Choose the image you like, click open and upload. Next, we have the read more link. You can put the link here and the read more button is going to go to that link or you can leave it empty and it will use the open item fields. Now let's put the title field, text, open item text field and for this content we're going to leave the open item empty. Now click save and let's add another content. Go to add content, choose the timeline content type Fill it out like before. Choose image. If you get an error, that's probably because the image is too big. Now, this time we're going to leave the open item title empty. We're going to add the text field and we're going to add an image. Now, click save. Here is our content. Now we can go to structure and use. Click edit. Here you can see our fields from the content type timeline and by default the path is set to timeline. You can change it, but we're going to use the default value, so cancel. Now you can go to the path. Our path is timeline.
and here is our content timeline. Now let's go back and look at some settings. In the format content timeline, go to settings and first we have some general and global settings. You can see here the read more button settings and we can change the navigation style and the line style to flat. You can change the shadow to show always or only in hover or never. Now we have more specific settings here. Here are some button settings. I'm going to use flat. Now below the button settings we have our item styling options. We are going to uncheck show date and let's change some settings. Let's change the title line height something lower and the font size for the title. Here are some more settings. The text settings. I'm going to leave the background color to white and below that we have item open styling options which are the same as the item styling options but you're going to see it when you click on the read more button now here let's change the title line height and the title font size now click apply and before we save Let's look at the image fields. The item image here by default uses the image formatter and it uses the timeline item image style. You can use whatever style you like, but with the default options, they go the best. Same goes for the item open image. Now let's save and refresh the page. And here you can see our content timeline with the new settings. The slide is working. And when you click read more, you can see the content with the open image, without the title and with the text field. And here without the image with the title and the text. Now if you have Shadowbox installed, go back, choose the item image and change the format to Shadowbox. We're going to leave the rest to default and apply. Don't forget to save. Now refresh and you can see when you hover the mouse button or the image, you have a hover image. When you click it, here is the shadow box pop up. Now let's remove the blocks we can see better. So here is our timeline, we can see the open items, here is the note title and you can see that the timeline left and right is cut off. We can change that, go back to settings and here you can see the timeline width. Let's change it to let's say 500, click apply. Then save. Now refresh the page. And you can see the new timeline width with the arrows left and right. Everything's working fine. 
the open items and here we have an open item image but without the shadow box so let's enable it go back find the item open image change the formatter to shadow box leave the rest to default click apply and save now refresh and now when you click the read more you can see the image has over and it opens in shadow box so that's basically it you can play around with settings thanks for watching and bye